Hey Gemini, welcome to your message from your ex. This video is so those who don't want messages from their ex, it can just be clearly labelled, but it's their true thoughts and feelings uh, that they're thinking about you and the situation. So let's see the messages from your ex. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. All the other videos are already posted, uh, so you can go ahead and check them out. And um, my information for personal readings and my services are in the description box. I never leave it in the comments, guys. Okay. Um, your ex thinks it's too late to work things out with you. They think too much has happened, too much has um, gone on. It's not that they don't love you, they do. King of Cups there. But they think it take too much to work on things, to be with you. Too much has passed. There's been too much betrayal, too much lies, too much deception. Um, you know, this tower, the breakup, it, it seems big and like explosive here. Um, they are focusing on work and juggling other things, trying to keep what happened out of their mind. I feel like you're probably focusing on personal growth and personal work, where they're fo focusing on physical work and physical growth and expansion, money, keeping themselves busy, keeping their mind busy. Because when they stop, they think of you and they think of what they've lost. Um, but they think that too much ha has gone. Um, too much has happened. The thing about love is, it's like, they think that the love is not enough on its own. Um, like, because we, we deserve respect as well, right? And loyalty, um, not just love. And this person sees that so much, or they feel, because it's the Four of Cups, it's feelings, that they feel that too much has passed. Um, it might be that some time passes and they work on themselves and they get things together and their mind changes but right now they feel that too much has happened in this situation that they can't make you an offer they can't approach you they can't say i love you it's like i love you but too much has happened and if they stop and think about it they'll become hurt themselves with the four of cups they're very unhappy with how things played out in this situation, how you was hurt, how explosive it was, like all the knives, they're disappointed in themselves as well here, that things happened this way, that I'm the person who hurt another person like that. It's almost like they can't believe it. Like I can't believe I caused that much devastation. So this is why they aren't making any offers and things like that, they just can't believe it at the moment. Every single break they have, um, they're thinking of you and what happened and this is why they want to keep themselves busy focused like I'm doing a hundred things I'm running myself into the ground that will also lead to a tower for them because you know we can't run ourselves into the ground we have to stop and process it they may even get some bad news that you know if you keep going like this things won't be great for you um, they want an end to these I guess bad times they want it to end they just want what happened to be over with maybe even forgotten um because it's causing them so much distress and causing them to um overwork and you know it's making them now unsteady on their feet with that two of pentacles Ju you can't just juggle all this and think that nothing's going to come from it something will happen you know, so they, they're just wanting the feelings of love to pass, the feeling, they're wanting time to pass, I feel, because they feel that time will heal this for you. I'm not sure if you agree, um, but they're wanting things to pass quicker so that they hope that things will get better. And I feel like they're not expecting that you to reach out and to make an offer to them and you might actually do that. Um, but if you do, they might reject you because they think that too much has happened and it can't be healed. It's like this tower, this can't be fixed, this is what they're thinking. It doesn't mean that it can't be, but they feel and think at the moment that it can't be fixed between you guys. They think way too much happened. 
uh, I feel like they know you love them as well. So you might have reached out to them um, and asked them, just talk to me and just explain to me, I still love you. And they don't feel worthy of your love, so they rejected it. Okay, let's see here. Grace and Antoinette, to help heal this situation, see things from the other person's point of view. Compassion. With compassion, sorry. Mystique, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miracles to a miracle solution to appear. Um, so I feel like the message for you is don't give up on this person, but right now they feel like it can't be healed. Learn to see things from each other's perspective. That's what's happening in this connection right now. They do regret what they did. They're very unhappy with themselves and their actions, and they can't believe, you know, that I did this. You know, I lied, I cheated, I, I hurt somebody this much. So if you want to heal this situation, give it, look at this with compassion and give it time. And, you know, don't give up on them if that's what you want. If you are of the same understanding that this can't be fixed because too much has happened, you have to then find, I guess, closure within yourself because they're not going to give it yet. Okay, guys? Like I said, for my services and personal readings, you'll find information in the description box. Good luck.